The nice thing here about hotkeys is we not only give you hotkeys in Keyshot 7, but we give you the ability to change and customize these to meet your needs. So right now, these are the ones that I find myself using all the time when I'm working. We've got move, which we've already talked about, which is command or control D. We have rotate environment, which is a great one. So I'll show you what this looks like. Um, if we went ahead and I'll go ahead and show my environment right now, it's all white. If we go to my environment tab and I switch to my light environment so we can see it. If I wanted to, I can rotate that environment by holding control and drag left click dragging. This will rotate the environment in the real time view. Um, so if I were to turn off my cube light and I rotated my environment, it will um, shine different light and, and affect the reflections and highlights on my camera here. So being able to, again, rotate your environment without going over the tab, the environment tab and, and scrolling, this is just something I do constantly as I'm working in Keyshot to try to adjust my lighting. Another good one is hide part, which is going to be um, control alt left click, otherwise on a Mac, um, command option left click. So if I want to start hiding parts here just by clicking on them, I can hold those two keys, control alt and then left click and the part will disappear on anything I click on. And this is a nice way to drill down into an assembly of parts. And then of course we can always right click and bring those back. But again, that was control alt left click to hide those. Another one that we have here is, is copy and paste material. So this is a pretty simple one here, but if you never known this, this is going to be a big deal. So if I search for a plastic and I want this green plastic here, let's say I want to copy it from one part to another super quickly. I hold shift and I left click it and that copies it onto the clipboard. And then while holding shift, I right click and that will paste it and it links them together. So if we look at our in scene materials, we only have one green, plastic material right here. And that's the one that we just pasted. So if I paste this on a bunch of parts while holding, so shift right click, it's on three or four parts, but we still have that one green plastic, which means if we were to make an edit, it will change the color of all of those together because they were linked. Um, another one that you saw me do earlier is add ground plane. So let's talk about this one. Sometimes we need a ground plane because we want to throw some textures on the ground or control the way light reflects off the ground or anything like that. So we can do control or command G to add a ground plane. And all of a sudden, this changes the look of my scene because we have a light overhead. We've got some shadows and stuff like that. And of course, I could go into this ground plane, change the ground materials, do all sorts of fun stuff with this, add some roughness. So what else do we have here? We've got uh, two others here. I think these are some ones that most people don't know is free camera and real time region render. So let's say I'm going to render out my final image like this. So this is my final image. I'm going to make a camera called render and I'm going to lock it really quickly. Now let's say I'm, I'm in my scene tree or my environment maybe, and I want to adjust my camera. Well, I can't, but if I hold, Control sh uh, shift and F, I can switch quickly to the free camera, which is super cool because now I can make my adjustments and then just uh, switch back. So if you ever find yourself working here, now you need to adjust something, but you click and drag and you can't do it. All you need to do is control shift F and now you switch to the free camera. And along a similar lines, we have the real time region render, which would be control shift R. So if you ever are using region render to check out how a material looks or get Keyshot to render faster in a small region, you can just hit control shift F or I'm sorry, R or command shift R to bring up or hide that region render instead of going to the image tab and turning on region just a lot faster. Um, cool. So we've got those guys. Those are some of the most popular hotkeys, the ones that I think uh, really speed up your workflow if you can remember those. And again, this presentation will be downloaded. Uh, you guys can